out earlier this morning collecting honey. Things looking pretty much as usual. Some hives in pretty good shape. Have some honey stored away from us below. So that's good. We're pulling off fairly full boxes of honey there. And that's pretty good. Just this year has been kind of like a seesaw, back and forth, good mood, bad mood. Every time we're bringing in honey, it's good mood. Lots of nectar coming in, good mood. But we are seeing our first signs of yard robbing. It's a problem with these threes that I have going here. And I stack shared space above, and then I don't get my top sealed properly. I can get away with that when there is a nice flow and they're not robbing. But this time of year, this is the first sign of it. Can't let them pull it back. So we're gonna have to take extra steps now as we start setting these boards to make sure they can get in and take our honey back. I'm looking at the actual amount that they're pulling back because of robbing and it is fairly light robbing right now. They're just getting in there and they're just taking opportunity. There isn't a whole lot taken back yet. But it doesn't take them long. Once they get onto it and once they realize what's there and once they start focusing on the honey crop that's above this escape, then it doesn't take long for them to empty that stack as soon as they get into a robbing frenzy. We still have flowers out there. There's a seed alfalfa field that's coming to its end but over there there's a half section of sunflowers that are just making an appearance so what we are doing is we're following suit with the same rules as we were earlier anything that's showing you know promise we're putting a third box on anticipating a bit of rain who knows might get some rain anticipating uh, nectar flow coming off the sunflower yeah, hive like that's quite healthy, pretty full. If we get any type of flow off those sunflowers, we better be ready for it. So what's the date today? It's July it's the 24th or 25th. It's only July 25th, so we can't go back into, you know, conservation mode yet. We do have opportunity. The opportunity time's on our side. Flowers are out there, and who knows, we might be blessed with a little bit of rain colony like this will not give you press that off. These ones won't get a box. They're working up there nicely so they look like they have enough space. Foundation's not being worked. So they have enough headspace here to be able to welcome the incoming flow. It's just these puppies that are full already. It's gotta make sure we don't plug them out. The worry is if we allow them to plug out especially these uh, nukes that I have going. If we allow them to plug out those top two boxes and they start backfilling the bottom brood nest and start restricting that available space to create that nest for winter, we can't let that happen because we need them to utilize as much of that space as possible to raise that nest. And to do that, we give them ample space up on top. So again, we can't let our pessimistic thoughts get in our way of actual proper hive management here. We have to make sure that we keep focused and make sure that we carry through with our duties. Look at that, eh? Little buggers taking back what they collected. Can you believe it? It's mine. The deal is anything over that escape is mine. Actually, the deal is anything over that excluder is mine. And they will fight for it. So this is a nuke yard we had built, as you can see with the sixes, but we ran out of uh, nuke boxes to make our splits. We were taking full splits off our colonies just because we had an explosion of growth this spring. And these colonies, like 
holy smokes they're giving us three already and another two maybe so it's five boxes of honey off the split reared off a queen cell so that seems to be working out all right and i better quit my yapping here because if we spend too much time now like i say we got to follow different rules now to pull honey we have to be a little more swift we might actually have to start covering up our loads as we pull them ah july 24th or 25th and we are already experiencing robbing yard robbing it's going to be a long august Nothing's ever easy. This colony here, I just noticed some cannibalized brood on the screen. Which means, oh good, these aren't nukes, or these aren't the sixes. That means this queen has gotten up into that top box and has established a nest. Which is gonna bring brood and bees back to the honey house and piss everybody off. But it also means this colony is a dead spot if we don't... Woo! That's a good queen. Are they just emerging? Yeah, yeah they, they are. are just emerging. Let me get a better shot of that. Just making an appearance. So Carrie's going to go through those two boxes and find her. Doesn't look like too many bees up top. A lot of the bees have already cycled down, but she'll be up here with the brood. Yeah, these are a pain in the ass because as we're trying to get our work done quickly, because now we're experiencing a bit of robbing, we got to waste our time to sort out. Boy, she sure went to town up top. Yep. It's especially annoying when we're going through the nukes. These sixes, and the queen gets up on top, and we don't know which nuke it's come from because they're sharing space right so if a queen gets up on top here it could be from either one of these so we got to go down and find to see which one is missing a queen and then sort them back down into that spot and these nukes tend to pressure the queen through the excluder a little bit more just because she's confined to smaller space and she's you know pressing up against that excluder continuously as compared to the singles where she has more space to roam back and forth so we find, you know, the skinnier type queens maybe punch through a little more often. But we make for damn sure we try to find her, put her back down, because that's what it's all about, to maintain the integrity within my operation. Meaning the queens have got to be where they belong. Look at the robbing. I mean, <sighs> just chill out girls already. Stop filming here and get some work done. 
these colonies will establish their defenses when, again now that we have the caps on these bees will be moving up into that box we just added and they'll be able to defend their nest and stop this madness and we just have to follow different rules now that robbing has started any luck there's not hardly any bees up here. It's funny. Is there any eggs or anything? Oh yeah, she's got eggs. Eggs, so she's got to be there. Very rarely do we get a queen that goes down through the escape. She's just hiding on us there. Something's very, something's odd about the number of bees up there. Hardly any bees. She might be on a sidewall. So I'm gonna get back to work. Let Carrie do that and try to get into this yard sooner and later.
Ten minutes later, she she's found a, her on a honey frame. Yeah, she's trying to fly. Ooh, she looks like a worker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather her not try she's to get very, lost. Flighty. Very flighty. Little woman, get down. No oh, escape. Come on. Jump. Oh yeah. Okay, crisis averted. Yippee yay kaye. Uh, we're gonna sort down. Is there a fresh brood we can put down there? Uh, none open. It's all eggs. They've pretty much chomped so, everything down. So she's got. Let's put her mature. The ones that are hatching, let's put above in the boxes we returned, and then the. 
the youngest will let's uh, how many one two three four five six seven eight two so let's put two frames down that have young brood okay. or whatever yeah that'll work good enough and then this frame that's hatching out it'll hatch by the time we get back to them so that'll work out just perfectly ah delays delays Holy, well, that's why we're saving her. Masterful. She's going to make us a lot of money next year. She can just stay down there. I'm going to bring a metal down. I hate these plastic. Such a pain in the ass. At any rate, hustle, 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 hustle. They are finding us. We're gonna have to start working on that 35 minute rule. Damn, anyways. We're not out of July yet. One mile away, one hour later. No more robbing. Tremendous flow. The pollen coming in. This is sunflower. Sunflower, sunflower. So those flowers have just turned on. You pull a frame from one of these boxes, see if there's any nectar going on. There's uh, yellow faces. Yellow faces? There's bright yellow on that girl there. Sunflower. There might be I some... Think that's, that's some thick yellow pollen mm. right sitting on her face there. It certainly is. Either canola, I bet you that's sunflower though, eh? They would be digging into those flowers. Yeah. Could you pull a frame out of here? See what we have going. Just working on that foundation. That's a good sign. Let's pull this one here. This looks like a juicy frame. This second pull in this yard, because it's beside a half section of sunflower, right there. So this would be pure sunflower honey. That's about all there is, except for. Seed alfalfa is just about done. Does it look like sunflower? It's hard to tell, eh? Black foundation. No, that's not sunflower. Clover or canola? Where the hell is that coming from? Let's pull another one up, another hive. Sunflowers are just starting to make their appearance. There's a canola field I'm not seeing. This is a nice frame there. I think that field over there still had a smattering, but... That then. sunflower honey. I guess it's to come. Here I went and pulled this yard to greet the sunflower honey and that is... holy smokes. Well wherever whatever it is we'll take it. Canola, clover, alfalfa is darker than that. Yeah. That field's pretty much done anyways. So all right we'll be getting another box anyways because of the sunflower field. See if it makes a presence. I guess I'm just assuming this is sunflower pollen. What color is that? That is yellow. Canola is usually a brighter yellow, I believe. Questions, questions, questions. I think so too. 
a lot more brilliant. Mm. Although I'd say that's brilliant. going on in this yard. They must be reaching something over there where that last yard wasn't. Questions, questions. Come up. 